Thank you for your interest in being a subject matter expert for the Center of Excellence for Medical Multimedia. Your input and assistance are invaluable, and the entire Department of Defense community benefits from your expertise and contribution to this important work. This video is intended to help you understand the process behind the creation of SEM products and your part in that process. Not every project is the same, and not all of these steps will apply to every project. But most multimedia projects will follow this basic process. In this video, we'll go over project approval, scripting, production, animation, post-production, and web design. Some of these steps overlap or happen simultaneously. Shortly after a project officially kicks off, we'll provide you with a timeline that's specific to your project. That way you'll know what to expect from us, what's expected from you, and when. Before any project can begin, it must go through an approval process to make sure the project is an appropriate fit for the SEM's capabilities and mission. The first step is to obtain written approval for the project from your chain of command and determine if funding is available. Next, ensure that your unit is not obligated to use an existing contract or most efficient organization for video and multimedia production. Your host public affairs or judge advocate offices will be able to tell you if such an obligation exists. You'll also need to contact your local installation or supporting public affairs office to verify if their services can support your project. If they cannot support your project, the next step is to complete the AFMS Public Affairs Form 833 on the SEM website and submit it to the Surgeon General's Public Affairs Office. They will send your request to the field. If no one in the field can accept your request, the Surgeon General's Public Affairs Office will notify you and the SEM by email. The next step is to return to the SEM website and complete the SEM requirements form. Once the requirements form has been submitted, the project request will be sent by the SEM team to AETC leadership for routing and approval. This final step will determine if the project aligns with AFMS strategies and if the SEM can engage. If the SEM is approved to engage, a contract is developed by the SEM and sent to the base contracting office. In turn, the contracting office sends this contract to the media contractor for a budget and acceptance of the project. Once the project is accepted by the media contractor and the money has been received, the project can begin. The first part of any project is the scripting or writing phase. The script is the foundation of the entire project so it's especially important that we get it just the way you want it. This is the phase where we hammer out exactly what content should be in the program and how it should be presented. The script acts as a roadmap for the production team, editors, and web designers. Once the script is finalized and we move into the production phase, it's extremely difficult and sometimes impossible to make content changes. A good general rule to remember is that we can often cut content later but we can't change or add things once a script has been approved and production has begun. That's why it's so important in this phase to get clear and timely input from you, our SME. Typically, the scripting phase starts with research. You will provide the contractor with all content or information you want to include in the program and the writer will do any additional research needed. Once all content is provided, the writer can start the actual writing. Depending on the project, the writer will sometimes create an initial outline for the SME to review. This ensures that all sections or topics are being covered appropriately. You may add, change, delete, or move sections around. Once the outline has been approved, the writer can begin fleshing out the script. The writer includes all the research and content that's been provided and works to make the dialogue sound natural and understandable for the audience. The first draft of the script will go through internal review before being sent to the SME. The first draft is then reviewed by the SME. It's best to use track changes and the comments tool in the Word document so that nothing is missed. In your review, look for major content issues as well as minor wording problems. Remember, once we start shooting, it's almost impossible to make changes, so now is the time to make sure the program communicates precisely what you want. Once we receive your input on the first draft, the writer will take another pass to implement all your changes and comments. The revised script will come back to you for another round of review. 
Because getting the script just right is imperative, we will do up to three rounds of review to ensure accuracy. Be sure to keep this in mind. Each project has a strict deadline, and if we get behind in one phase, it becomes difficult to catch up. So even though we're willing to do several rounds of review in the scripting phase, we still set a deadline for the script to be finalized. This means that your input during this phase needs to be both precise and timely. The more quickly you give us your input, the more quickly we can give you another draft to review and approve. Once the script has been finalized, it's sent to the video production team so they can begin prepping for the shoot. There are a lot of moving parts in a video shoot, and all of them base their jobs on what's in the script. Again, that's why the scripting phase is so very important. The first step in the production phase is casting. Some projects require one actor on a teleprompter, while others require an entire cast of dramatic actors. Our producers send out a casting call to local talent agencies, and we hold a casting session with the actors that those agents recommend for the part. During some casting sessions, our director will see 70 or 80 actors audition in a single day. Meanwhile, our art director is beginning to plan the set design and props that will be needed for the shoot. If we're shooting in the studio, the art director will plan to build a set. If we're shooting on location, the director, producer, art director, cameraman, and lighting director will go on a location scout to find locations that fit the demands of the script. Once the locations are found and confirmed, the art director will figure out how to dress each location to match what's in the script. Our producer also uses this time to schedule crew members for the shoot. Depending on the production, the crew can range from 3 to 30 people. Dramatic scripts typically require a larger crew, while interviews require only a very small crew. Host shoots require fewer crew members than a dramatic shoot, though still require more than interviews. Another key component of production is B-roll. B-roll is footage that is on screen while a host or interviewee is speaking to demonstrate what's being said. For example, if a host talks about a specific medical procedure, we would capture B-roll of that procedure to show while the host is speaking. Some scripts contain dramatic scenes, host material, real people interviews, and B-roll. Other scripts contain only one or two of these elements. Whatever the case may be, each of these types of shoots must be planned and scheduled to match what's in the script. We'll generally shoot drama first, followed by host scenes. B-roll and interviews are typically shot later. We often invite the SME to join us for drama and host shoots to ensure that pronunciations are correct and to catch any errors that may have slipped through the scripting process. It also gives you a chance to see us in action, doing what we do best. After all video has been shot, if there are any text documents that require accompanying voiceover, we will use a recording studio to record with a professional voiceover talent. The SME is encouraged to conference in for the recording session to ensure correct pronunciations. While the production team is hard at work prepping and shooting, the animation team can begin on any animations that might be required. The team uses the script to develop storyboards or still images that show the basic design or model for each animation. After the SME reviews the storyboards for anatomical accuracy, the storyboards are revised and first draft animations can be developed. The SME reviews the animations for medical and visual accuracy and the animation team continues to revise based on the SME's feedback. Once the production team has shot the scenes that contain animation, they send the audio tracks to be matched with the animations. Final animations with audio go to the SME for approval, and then the animation files are sent to the editors to be included in the final program. As soon as shooting is wrapped, the footage goes to the editors. The editors log the footage and use the best takes to generate what's called a rough cut, which is sort of like a video rough draft. After the rough cut passes through internal review, it goes to the SME for feedback on the chosen footage, graphics, still photos, music, and audio. It's important to remember that at this point, it's next to impossible to add or change any content delivered by the actors. 
It's possible to delete footage at this point, but adding or changing content would require a reshoot, which adds significant cost and time to the project. Still photos, music, and graphics, on the other hand, are all added in post-production and can be easily changed at this point. Contractually, we typically limit the video review to three rounds. While some changes are easy to make, recreating a review disc or uploading video for review online is extremely time-consuming. So even to change a single letter in a graphic can require an entire day of work. For this reason, it's very important that your review of each cut is as thorough as possible. Once the SME approves a final cut, all finished video material and final text documents with accompanying voiceover are sent to populate the website and or to replication on DVD or DVD-ROM. If your project includes a website, our IT experts will work on web design at the same time that video production, animation, and post-production are happening. The SME will have an opportunity to review Initial Information Architecture, or IA, proposed by the IT experts. Once the IA has been approved, the team creates comps, or still images, of various pages on the website. This gives the SME a chance to offer feedback on the look and feel of the site. Once the SME approves the comps, the team will populate a development site with the video and text material created by the production team. The SME reviews the development site and offers feedback. The site is then updated and sent back to the SME for another round of review. Once the development site has been approved, the website is launched and the project is complete. Thanks again for your interest and your valuable contribution. We look forward to working with you.